you watch me long enough, you would have seen that I wear a lot of sarees, and that's because I really, genuinely do love sarees. When I got married, uh, a lot of people advised me not to buy a lot of sarees because you won't wear any. Buy a lot of suits, and I kept on telling them, no, please don't buy suits for me. I will not wear suits. I will only wear sarees. And when I did get married, the first batch of things, the first batch of clothes that after a year I realized I didn't wear was suits. I didn't wear them at all. In fact, I gave away to charity some clothes, some suits that I have never ever worn. Anyways, my point is I do love sarees, and the one thing that is super more exciting is that I have a huge collection of sarees. So all of my sarees would not fit in a single video. So this video is only about my silk sarees and I hope you enjoy that. Hi, this is RGV and you're watching RGV Love where I am the crazy Indian mother. This video will solely have my silk sarees because to do an entire video of all my sarees it would take a lot of time. I guess it would have made more sense for me to wear a sari in this video but honestly to do this video I need workout clothes because This is the biggest attachee I have and it's full of silk sarees right now. Alright then. I don't usually keep my sarees in a suitcase. I just kind of put them in a suitcase for this video. So it's easier for me to show you guys. The first one that I will show you is this really lovely baby pink sari, which I haven't worn till now. I think it's new. Maybe no, it's not new. It's actually from my uh, wedding cruiser, but I just haven't had an opportunity to wear it till now. It's really nice. That's the pala and that's the body. My favorite silk sari. It's a tassel silk. This is also a part of my wedding cruiser. Absolutely love this one. It is so beautiful. And nowadays tassel silk is really famous. Like really in fashion but when I got this it wasn't in fashion as such and it, it, this kind of work had kind of just kind of come out I don't know maybe I'm wrong but like this was the, for the first time I was seeing such kind of sarees so inside is just uh, borders and booty and then the palla is all nice and golden I really really love it I wish I could like open the whole saree and wear every single sari I'll show it to you guys but it'll be a little more difficult I hope you understand this is probably a really really simple silk sari which I used to wear around the house I actually also used to wear saris in the house when I was newly married for the obvious reasons I haven't been wearing saris a lot around the house nowadays I should probably restart that give this video a thumbs up if you want to see me wearing saris on a day to day basis or rather comment down below because I was actually already thinking of doing this but if you guys would be interested uh, then comment down below if you would like to see like uh, like challenge me to a week of wearing just sarees uh, this one is so 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 pretty uh, I should really get my mother-in-law to join me in this video because I really don't know uh, which sarees which I think is when I see I could be wrong I'm not I'm not so sure but if you can see there are little figurines of uh, this little uh, lady figure all over and on the border the best thing is that there is a little picture uh, which tells a story we can come try and come close up it's a little story there's a woman uh, playing the drums and there's a man dancing and there's a deer and there are trees now the best part about these sarees are these are both okay so to do this in print it's easy right but to do these in weaves it's really really difficult and this is basically where the beauty of the sarees come out the weave um, the figurines inside are woven exactly where they should be so that's like almost like a place in the focus that's like a placement weave okay so the weaver is weaving the sari and then this top hair and they weave this but in the border it's a continuous weave so they are thinking like even when they're putting that single one thread they are 
thinking about uh, what? They're thinking about the design. So every single thread is a part of that design. It's like so beautiful. I don't. I don't even know if I make sense. If you want me to do like a detailed version of how they weave, I don't even know if you'll be interested in that. But in case you guys are, let me know. I will try and do that. Also, look at the palla. Palla. It is so beautiful. The palla has even more figurines on it, and it is like a beautiful. Uh, from my mother in got these from Chennai. I have another one which I'll be showing to you in a while. Then we have this. Nice, simple. After that, this looks like a lot of sari. <laughs> but this is also a very nice sari. It has plain dots, actually very wearable. Then the palla is again very wearable, sweet, simple. You can wear this anywhere kind of sarees. Then this one that I have, I absolutely love the color because I think it's such an unusual color to have in silk, which is this beautiful lilac. It's all over booty work, and then again, the border is nice. And it's it's like an antique. It's not gold. It's not antique silver. It's something in the middle. Do you know? Do you know? Another one of Tussa's silks. Again, something I really really like. This side is also very elegant. They ha it has like huge big booties in the end and small booties all over. This sari that I have is kind of like a. I don't know. It's it's a silk sari, but it has like an embroidery on it. I am honestly not a big fan of this sari. Just don't like it that much. <laughs> but I think it's a nice sari. It's pretty. Not a big fan of this one though. And this is again something that I really like. Uh, the colored off. It's very simple. It's a very sweet sari. Easily wearable. The one thing that is like the hugest problems in most of these sarees are that the blouses don't fit, and they have been like opened till their most opening possible thingy. This sari I haven't worn this yet. So I still have to get the blouse made, but I think it's so nice. It it has a zigzag pattern. It has a little floral detail, and the border is a contrast, which is orange. Loving it. Loving it. I think you guys will probably get bored if I show you every single sari. This is the one that I was talking about that my mother-in-law got, which also has figurines on it. This one has a huge border with the figures. It's really, really beautiful. Look, look, so beautiful all over. It's uh, it has tiny booties and there's a border running around. There is a rat. There are dancing figures. It's like it's a really beautiful sari. Then I have this one, which is fairly new. Haven't even opened it. I think. Sorry, I think I got it this wedding season from some place. Really like the palla. This is also one of my favorites. I love the color, and it has. Golden booties on it. It has a nice big golden border. Something again, which is very well. The one thing I love about silk sarees are that they're extremely wearable. Then this is again a silk saree that I wear around the house. This is crepe silk, so I'm not really sure if I can put this in this video because I have hold off other crepes to put in other, the, you know, the part two if you want it. Ah, oh, this is the latest addition to my sari collection. This is a paper silk sari, which was gifted to my mother-in-law by somebody, and she wasn't sure if it would work for her. And when I saw it, I fell in love because I love paper silk as a fabric, and I used it extensively during NIFT, especially during my graduation project. So I, like, I have never seen a paper silk sari before, and I was like, I want this in my collection. And I'm gonna soon get a blouse made for this, and I just feel it's so beautiful. Like I wish I could show you the fabric. It's like the paper silk fabric. Fabric is actually like paper. It's beautiful. You're not even half wet there. And my camera's battery is low, and my memory card has no memory. Ah, oh, this one is again a very beautiful pink. Sorry. 
Oh, I love. I don't know, but I love the smell of silk sarees. This is a Banarasi, if I'm not wrong, and again something I love. This is also a saree which I absolutely. This is the palla, and the saree. This is the palla, and the saree is green with tiny booties on it. I really love how uh, classic the saree is, and it looks beautiful when you put it on. Ah, oh, I love this saree. I wore this for Aravi's Mundan. It looks so pretty. This pink is something again, which is very wearable. You can wear it around the house. It has a nice simple border, and I just feel that's a very nice simple saree to have. This one, oh, I forget what I forgot what it's called. But I really love it. I think it's it cut. I'm not sure. And if it is it cut, then I am. The weaves are like a completely different topic. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. But love this sari. It gives you a very married look when you wear it. Another one of my favorite because it's a very unusual color. It's a little parrot greenish. Really like it, and it, it look it's a very girlish color as well. So even if you're wearing a sari, it still gives it doesn't give you the you know old auntie look. It still gives you a very youngish look. Is the sari that I absolutely love? I bought this for my sister-in-law's wedding. If you watched the vlog, this is the sari that was gifted to uh, me by my mother-in-law, and she got it from Chennai or Calcutta. Chennai, I think. Um, I wore the sari on the next like after I got married. Um, on the next day, there are some functions, there are games that we play and everything, and there are a lot of relatives in the house. There are like 50, 60 people coming and going, and this is the sari I wore for that function. I really love this. I just feel if you're a bride to be and if you're watching then that's this, then please get a sari like this. This is like the most married sari that you can own. Also, if I would have had a reception, I would have probably loved to wear a sari like this. It's very nice and I especially love the color. The maroon is a very bridal maroon color. My current favorite is this yellow silk sari gifted to me by my mother. It has a very nice pink border and a pink palla. I wore this for my sister-in-law's uh, mehendi function if you watched that vlog. It's a very very pretty sari. One of my newest collection that I asked my mom to get. Okay, so the reason my, most of them are gifted to me are because uh, for some function or the other or for some festival or the other my mother-in-law or my mom has to give me sarees so that is why I have so many sarees that are gifted to me so I asked a special I asked my mom specifically that I want a grey saree because I didn't have any and she got me this really nice grey saree with this lovely border really love this saree I have I think worn this saree in one of the diva logs vlogs I think I have it uh, for any vlogs that I'm mentioning, they'll all be in the description box below. So if you're interested, you can go watch that. I don't want to open this right now because it'll just spoil the fold. But this is a thread work silk sari, if you can see. This is from Meena Bazaar. I do have some saris from Meena Bazaar as well. Uh, again, a sari with a really nice pale pinky, baby pinkish effect. I really love the booties on this. and. The border is to die for. Sorry. The border is to die for. I haven't worn this yet. It's one of my new saris, so the blouse is made. This sari was gifted to me by my father in law, and I love the color. It's really, really pretty. And I was about to wear this for Aravi's uh, first birthday, but then I didn't have time to get the blouse made, so that didn't happen. I wore my blue sari instead. I don't know where it is. Can't find it. Then we hardly have any more time left because the battery is flashing. <laughs> Again, another purple that I really, really love. It's, I think again, very wearable. I love this color. Like I love purple in sarees because if you wear a purple sari, even if it's not very heavy, for some reason you always look very dressed up. This one is again. I think every sari I've been saying this is this one again I love, but because honestly I really love all my saris. This I wore for a puja at home recently, and I just think it's really really nice and pretty. That's the border. Last few. Whew. This is again 
a pinky toned sari. I haven't got the blouse made of this either, so I haven't worn this yet. But again, I love the booties on this. Ah, this used to be my favorite. I haven't worn this in a long, long time. It's a very nice fuchsia pink. I think it's Banarasi, and I love the huge big border on it. This is one of the few sarees that I have that has a little bit of silver work in it. Otherwise, most of my sarees, if you notice, have like golden tone to it, which, well, I don't mind. I like golden. This is a new saree which my mom gifted to me, and I really, really love. I haven't got the blouse made yet, but I will. I really like the border. It's very unusual, very different from everything that I have. It's a little uh, modern designer kind of a saree. And then this one, the last of my set sarees that I have for you to see. This is the blue saree that I wore for Arivi's birthday function. If you haven't watched the vlog, please go watch the vlog. The pala is so beautiful. Anyways, that's it. Those were all my silk sarees, which is quite a collection. And thanks to this video, now I know there are a few that I need to get the blouses made for, which I would. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you would want to watch part two of this video, because I do have a lot more sarees, uh, not silk sarees, but I do have a lot more summer sarees. If you would want to watch that part two, please comment that down as well. I hope you had a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh shit. I forgot to show you guys this sari. This is a silk thread work sari. So that also.